Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. So we need to look for the royal outfit to speak with the magpie and find more information about where Mara might be. But before that, I want to do a couple things. One thing is I noticed when I talked to Rolo in my thief costume, they see me as somebody else. Welcome, stranger. You never told me your name. My name is too long. I don't mind waiting. What is it? It's too long. Uh, that's all right. Go ahead. Tell me. No, my name is too long. But I... What? My name is too long. It's fine if nowhere else to be. It's too long. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Ah, it's me, Tilo. So it is. What's all this too long nonsense, then? Is there something you're after? <laughs> I wonder what the other outfits might get you. Um, I mean, my normal outfit and the armor that they made me, obviously that's not going to do anything different. I feel like I've probably spoken to them in my ranger outfit and I don't think they said anything. Um, oh, yeah. Right, I should ask them where the costume for a king might be. Can I help you with that? Six florins, sure. There's many a noble rat buried down in the catacombs. And the commander has fine clothes for ceremonial occasion and the like. Hmm. The commander. Okay, so catacombs and the commander. Could you make me a crown? I'll need gold. Seven nuggets at least. Oh, I probably have that. Seven nuggets of gold. Alright. You'll have it. Yeah, I've got eight out of seven. Nice. Okay, I have the gold for the crown here. Hmm. Quality's not great, but it'll do. Alright, your majesty. Give me six hours and you'll have your crown. Okay. Let's see, anything else? Yes. Uh, still trying to finish the king's costume. What about a beard? A beard? The frog down in the jail, he has a beard. He'll not give it up easily, though. Wait, am I going to shave off the frog's beard and just, like, tape it to me? <laughs> oh, God. That sounds nasty. Can you suggest some places to look? Might have some ideas? Four florins. Sure. Mark some places to start looking on your map. Okay. Thank you. So, is there anything else to talk about? Doesn't seem like it. I just went ahead and slept, though, so we can grab the crown. The smithy takes off his hat to reveal a finely crafted golden crown just about your size. See what you think to that. It's beautiful. It's alright, isn't it? You'll have to show me the whole costume when you're done. You're a true artisan, smithy. Ah, go on with you. Whoops. So, let me just test something. Let me try putting on the ranger costume. Oh. Gotta move away from him. See if they respond differently. Back already? Okay, yeah, they don't. I wonder if there might be some funny interactions when wearing different costumes with some of the other NPCs. I don't know. Alright. Let's go speak with the commander now. Hopefully the guard at the door will actually let us in. Actually, speaking of... Yeah, so the armor's inside of the uh, the commander's chamber, which makes sense. Since they apparently have some ceremonial stuff, makes sense that it would be inside of their place. So, maybe we can get that at the same time. Need to speak with the commander. Thank you. Let's look for interactables. Good thing they don't seem to be paying attention. Incident log. Private Hearth given two days in jail for not wearing his full armor in the courtyard. Jeez, that's harsh. Private Angar struck and... and... brained? 
by falling? By falling drawbridge after winch break failed. Mechanism still unstable. Private gaff left addled by a falling barrel. Private Ewell? Wager two florins he could jump the pit. Funeral to be held tomorrow. <laughs> oh no. Private Scree taken by spiders in the lower levels. Private Pakoff slipped and fell on a broken jar of snail slime. Wait, Pakoff. That's a name we heard recently, but I forgot who they were. Private Snarl, drunk on duty, assigned to the screaming gate for one week. Oh, that's a nice little detail. That's the one that's always sleeping. And the frog wanted us to destroy one of their, like, things of rot gut. Yeah. Private Flack struck and knocked insensible by a flying bottle. Wait, was that me? That might have been me. Private Niels charged with theft of official documents and rip remanded to the cells. Hairbrush? Is that a miscellaneous item? Huh. Bearing the monogram of the garrison commander. King's pantaloons, yes! Switch clothes so we can jump. It would be unwise to remove your armor in the commander's quarters. Oh. Look at that. Nice little bath, and they even have a writing utensil there. So they can sign decrees while bathing. Anything else in here? See, I can't get up to the window. Uh, it looks like it wouldn't matter anyway. It's one of those that has a pillar in the center, so you can't actually walk through it. Oh, wait, I can. Uh oh. Uh. Oh. Whew. Almost got stuck behind a bit. Alright, let's report the burning of the flags. Uh, Scout, this is rather embarrassing, but could you take a look at this? The commander gingerly offers up his tail for inspection. About a third of the way from its tip, you notice an ominous scarlet constriction, angry and inflamed. Huh. Is it serious? It... it looks like ringtail, sir. Ah, my father suffers from it terribly. P perhaps I can find you some relief, sir. Wasn't Faustus sent here because they tried to treat someone's ringtail and ended up making them lose their tail? Or it was just ineffective so they lost their tail anyway? I'm not sure which. Let's see what you can do. Yes, confer with Faustus. Commander, 13 banners have been burned around the keep. 13? This is Great Burham all over again. Scow, a sign of things to come. Aye, it starts with burning banners and ends with a mob at the gates and the garrison in flames. It's that damned mouse, Scow. <laughs> I could say Tilo, sir. <laughs> Remain silent. The one from the jail. He's behind this, I'm sure of it. I'll have Yuva send reinforcements. I promise you this. History will not repeat itself on my watch. Anything I can do for you, Commander? Oh, I keep I keep falling for that thinking they might give me a quest and then and then just play them another song. Okay, excellent. So where to now? As I press all the wrong buttons. So beard... Oh, we should go to the jail, talk to the frog about the beard. Yeah. Still need to identify two more smugglers. You know, at this point... At this point, I probably should actually use my keys for the footlockers. It's possible I have everything I need if I do that. Oh, have I spoken with you, by the way? Morning. The termite's lair spreads far unseen. I don't know what you're up to, Scout, but you'd be wise to forget about it. Okay. 
<laughs> not one of the ones. But yeah, let's go over to the footloggers, just right over here. Let's put in my thief stuff. So still one that's locked. Marked Oval. Okay, so that's... Oh, right. Hmm. I'm not sure if this actually will find me. The, uh... The, the smugglers, but I do need the opals anyway. I think I have one more key. Let's do a search for interactables. These are all opened. So that one I don't have a key for. I think there might be an unopened one over here. Ah, there we go. Oh, there's nothing in it. Okay, so I need two more footlocker keys. Ah, oh, look at this. I can run past them. I can literally sprint past them and they like barely even hear it. I love this costume. Now, visually, they can still see you relatively easily, but auditorily, it's pretty good. Okay, let's speak with the frog. Mousy, I need your help. Umarizia came by to see me last night. Oh, she's lovely. What is it you like about her? Her glasses. I thought you said you didn't care for mice. No, no, it's just you I can't stand. What did Rizia want? The pleasure of my company, of course. And who could blame her? She's coming back again later today, and I want to look my best. Thing is, see, my beard? There's some gray in it now. Oh wow, this is really convenient. <laughs> they want to get rid of their beard? You'll need to help me dye it and run a brush through before she gets here. Oh. Oh, that's what that brush that I just got is for from the commander's quarters. This is very important, so don't muck it up. Uh, what color? What color? Think, Mousy. They didn't call me Red Whiskers for nothing. Honestly, I forgot they were even called Red Whiskers. Because their name just displays as Carol, so I forgot. Okay, um, I have the berries and brush for your beard, so apparently that's what the... what were they called? Whatever those little, like, thorny red berries were. Well, run the brush through it, will you? Wisps of white hair snag on the brush's bristles as you drag it through the frog's matted whiskers. Soon you have enough hair to make a beard of your own. That's a disturbing amount of hair that just came off. Now, pop the berries in my mouth. Aren't red berries poisonous? Aye, their juice will drive you mad, so they say. But I've been using them for years, and look at me. <laughs> Poster child for non-poisonous berries. The frog works the berries around his mouth a while, grinding them between his jaws until a scarlet mash dribbles down his chin and onto his beard. That is disgusting. Don't just stand there gopping, rub it in. And don't forget the eyebrows. You gingerly massage the sweet-smelling, sticky red paste through Carol's whiskers. Well, what do you think? You want my honest opinion? Uh, not really, no. Are we done? <laughs> then get out. Okay. The termite's lair spreads far unseen. Ah, what now? It's always something with you smugglers, isn't it? Smugglers, Pfft. you're amateurs compared to the captain. What does he want me to do this time? Swallow some florins? Stow a message? Stick a key up under my hat? Just leave me in peace. Where's your captain now? Right through there in the cell next door. <laughs> what a character. Talking to him's the only thing that's kept me sane. <gasps> oh. I found a part of a pirate costume there at the beginning of the game. That's the bones that just fell apart and they've been dead for like 20 years. Uh, I have news of Captain Powder Keg. Well, what of him? Uh, how do I put this? 
I'm afraid he's passed on. Has he? Passed on what? I'm trying to tell you that he's dead. Dead? I'm afraid so. <laughs> you hear that, Captain? He says you're dead. This little scrunt here. Who, who are you talking to? Shh. <laughs> you said a Captain. A real privy licker. Okay. Those berries, huh? Let's go confer with Faustus. About the ringtail cure for the commander. Sir, I've heard the commander has ringtail. Oh? And what concern is that of mine? Don't you see? This is a chance to confront your fear. Fear? Faustus Ruck fears nothing. I... I... <sighs> Very well. The apothecaris takes a small jar from the cupboard and hands it to you. Give this to the commander, to be applied twice daily. Let me know if there are any side effects. Ah, the main gate guard appears to be another one of the smugglers. Didn't realize you were one of us, gal. What is it you need? The master wants his tithe. Already? It feels like it's only been a few weeks since the last pickup. Ah, alright. Here. Tell the master I'll make up the shortfall next month. And then also, I'm going to ask, why is the gate locked? The jailer has been found dead. The commander has the place on lockdown until the killer is found. But I'm due leave tonight. All leave is cancelled until further notice. This gate is closed until the commander says otherwise. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Can I distract them even when I'm wearing armor that I don't need to distract them with? Yes. Uh, hmm. Uh oh. They turn this way. Maybe... Yes. Then I need candle, candle. What? That wasn't me. All right, I think I'm gonna look for the final guard because there's just one more, just one more. Let's go ahead and give the commander the uh, ointment first. Here, sir, I have an ointment for your condition. Wonderful. Give it here. Oh, bless you, Scow. You're one of the good ones. Now. The commander hands you orders already signed and sealed. Would you take this to the smithy? You know the drill by now. Oh, I think they said I, they can't improve my armor anymore. But what was the other thing? I think they were going to teach me to make spider traps. I'm not exactly sure what that's about, but I'm curious. Here's the orders. What know what to do with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can either work on your armor. Well, actually, they can't work my armor anymore. So teach me about the spider traps. Well, now, I can teach you how to spot a hidden trap so you don't fall into one yourself. Of course. The blacksmith talks you through his method of detecting hidden traps. Okay. Not entirely sure what that did, but hopefully something helpful. Okay, I think I'm going to look in the harbor for the final smuggler, because I think that's one place where I haven't really asked people that passphrase. Oh, never mind. I just went like 20 feet over to the elevator gate guard, and they appear to be the final one. Uh, I've lost my footlocker key. Dropped it in the commissary, I think. I'm hoping the cook has just put it aside somewhere. If it falls into the commander's hands, or if the master finds out, well... The master wants his tithe. Exactly. If you can give me that key, I'll be grateful. Fetch key from the kitchen. Okay. See, the thing is, the phrase, the, uh, like, at the center dwells the queen, makes me think, once again, that it may be the cook. That's the master. Ooh. 
Uma, did you find a key dropped in the commissary? A key? Let's see. Oh, I did indeed. It's put away in the pantry for safekeeping. I had no idea it was yours, love. Hmm. Do I want to say it's mine? Uh... I, uh, it is I. I'll fetch it for you when I'm done here. Okay. Oops. I skipped whatever that said. They're giving me some sort of food. Uh, what is it? A new recipe I'm working on. Please, and let me know what you think. You take the ladle, give a blow to cool the steaming liquid, and drink. Well? It's... I could use a little... No, don't complain about the cooking. It's very good. Oh, I'm pleased. I'm glad I could give you something nice for your last meal. Yeah, they just poisoned me to death, didn't they? Because I said it was my key, and they're the master. And they know the key is for the footlocker, and they said they would, you know, kill whoever lo loses the key. And I just said, it's me, so I'm dead. The cook's words seem to slur and lose their meaning as you sink into unconsciousness. I knew it! I totally called it! The termite's lair spreads far unseen, and at its center dwells the queen. <laughs> so, so I'm not dead. Where the hell am I? Use the sewer key. What? The far- I'm at the center of the far tower? Whoa! Not sure how I survived. It was supposed to be my last meal. But I am not going to complain about being allowed inside here. How did they transport me here? A fire. Is this like where Reza... Or is it Reza or Rezia? Is this where they, like, operate their smuggling operation, perhaps? Their little camp? I think there's a lot to find here. You can feel a draft coming from under the planks. Hmm. So I can't lift them up or anything. There's gotta be some way down there. Oh, why am I still in this armor? So slow. I want the rock gut. There we go. <laughs> oh, can we unbar this? Pine cones! Unlimited pine cones! Oh, yes! And I can hold, like, I think ten. Yeah, ten pine cones, because I've got the ex expanded pockets. Uh, perhaps I could blow that up. Let's see. Little silent pine cones. Nope. Can probably blow the boards up, though. There we go. Also completely silent. That is so weird. Let's switch away from the pine cone so I don't accidentally blow something up. I must have like 20 bottles of rock out at this point. Strong box key. Hmm. I found multiple strong boxes, but I think there was one in the commissary in the pantry place, so it's probably for that one. I could totally jump up there. Just making sure I don't miss anything. Keep using my uh, right trigger little sense thing. I know it's hard to tell that I've actually used it, but I am. Where's this go? Oh! This is how I'm gonna get in and out. Yeah, this goes right out here. Oh, whoa, 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 don't see me. Whew. 
cool. There's a odd gap in the world there. Let's jump up here. I wonder if that's an alternative way of uh, breaking the boards. Certainly on top of the jail. Only one way to find out. Nope. Whoa, what, what the heck did I just climb on? I just climbed on air. I'll take it. The super speed skip actually comes in handy there. You woke to raised voices in the distance. There, standing over you, lit by a waning moon, was Mara. We must go, now, she whispered. You nodded and got dressed, though you do not quite understand. You left the handcart hidden and followed Mara deeper into the woods. You never asked her to explain, afraid of what the answer might be. And then quite suddenly, not so long ago, you were summoned to the manor house to play before the Baron. Oh yeah, it just occurred to me. So the fact that Mero is moonlighting as a member of the Rebellion, again, I forgot the proper name for it, but yeah, the Rebellion and passing messages and doing things like that, that's why we were stopped and put into jail and all that. Like, that's, that's what they found out. They found out about that somehow. I'm just wondering if I could get through all those vines. Because I discovered when I was looking for mushrooms around this place that you actually can walk through vines, it just hurts you. But you can actually walk through them. That, though, would probably kill me. Probably. Probably. Assuming I can even get up there, but... Let's test it. Here we go. Oh! Oof, that was a far fall. Yeah, there's no way I can reach that. Not even close. Alright, now is Rezia still up here? Because if they are... And they are, it might be a little bit strange if they see me again. How the heck are they going to react if they see me again? Run! We're fine. Yeah, I believe there was a strong box. There it is. Oh, ow, and the footlocker key. Smuggler's ledger, that's the proof I need. Present evidence to the commander, nice. Let's check that out. Outgoings. Copper, or, oh no, oh, sorry, Cooper, dozen oak barrels. 20, 20 F. Copper pipe, two lengths. Did they present those two right next to each other just to confuse me? Cooper and then copper? Gaffer, two dozen bottles, payment to V, transport for batch, labor for extraction. Just want to see if there's any names that pop up that are particular interest. Baker for yeast. <laughs> Cork stoppers, two dozen, sundries, payment to V. V. V, V, V. Who's V? Is that someone here? I don't know. Miscellaneous bribes, miscellaneous accidents. Rugog. Ah, right. Because Faustus is working for the master. Verified and improved. Uh, approved. Volker. Oh, that's V. Volker. Is that someone we've met? Not sure. 
Yeah, this is big money. 48 bottles, 336. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to eat this pie. <laughs>